Guten Tag, meine Freunde, and a very big welcome to all you people all around the world to my team of the season predictions for the German Bundesliga. I'm your boy, Viva La FIFA. Incredible that you're tuning in. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to give a thumbs up, subscribe, and put on the notification bell. And if your favorite player is in the episode, also drop a thumbs up for them. There will be a beep load of Bayern Munich, Borussia Dortmund, and RB Leipzig players coming your way. But there is so much more. What to think about a one man B2 car? One of the greatest players in FIFA 21 and so much more. I'm thrilled, I'm excited, I can't wait to start. So don't forget to smash that like button in the face because here we go. Looking to buy yourself one of these juicy team of the season cards but you're out of coins? No problem. Head over to the comment section or description and click the link that will take you to away.com, the best, safest, most reliable place for your FIFA 21 coins and use the code FIFA for 5% extra off the order. Starting off with 98 rated Manuel Neuer. We already got a team of the year card. Bayern Munich is probably winning the Bundesliga and doing great in the Champions League again. So that means Manuel Neuer, why not give him a team of the season spot? Indeed, if you're great enough for team of the year and you're not picking up a heavy injury or declining in your form, team of the season is guaranteed. 98 Manuel Neuer coming away. RB Leipzig goalkeeper Gulashki is the second one in this list. RB Leipzig at the moment I recording this video is second in the league and one of the reasons is Gulashki great saves but most importantly he is reliable you can actually rely on him as it says he's composed relaxed experienced and brings calm to the center backs and the defensive line and that is what makes him so good and so composed the number three in the Bundesliga with Eintracht Frankfurt also as well a shout out to the goalkeeper of Eintracht Frankfurt but we go for Kuhn Castells the man that is wanted by Tottenham Hotspur and several other teams in the Premier League is the third candidate if you're asking my honest opinion my Manuel Neuer is there for no reason to be asked. But the second goalkeeper, it's up to these two. One of the center backs we're selecting is Hinter Egger of Eintracht Frankfurt. And this is the only position we won't find a Bayern Munich player. No center backs. Why not? Jerome Boateng, Sule, Boateng as teammate as well. And um, let's call him Lucas Hernandez, David Alba. They didn't play enough games to actually get that team of the season spot. Hinter Egger, he did. And he's one of the reasons that Frankfurt is chasing Champions League football. Yeah. One of the most fabulous central bags in team of the season has to be Dayat Upamecano. The newly signed up player for Bayern Munich is just out of this world. The speed, the physicality, the defending, the man just has it all. RB Leipzig is selling him for a nice and jackpot price. And Upa, next season, we can admire him and wondering him in that Bayern Munich shirt. What a player. The last central back in this episode is Mats Hummels. And he is only in here because we don't have a lot of reasons he's in here. Because Borussia Dortmund, as the team, is not exactly playing at a very high level consistently. That takes us to the fullbacks. The first one is Alfonso Davies. Although I am not quite sure in team of the year it's a guarantee but after that he got injured got suspended so maybe he's missing out on the team of the season spot i don't hope so because what is a bundesliga team of the season without the meep meep Kili gonzalez of canada and Bayern munich alfonso davies for example angelino of rv leipzig is exactly doing what he was not doing alfonso davies playing good games in 2021 and that is also the main reason that for me angelino is higher on the list of getting that instead of Alfonso Davies. I know Davies will sell packs and that might be the reason EA is putting him in, but Angelino is playing also at a super high level. We can't go around the captain of FC Union Berlin and that is Trimmel. I also selected Max Kruse, but he didn't make my final cut, but the right back and the captain of Union Berlin does six goals so far or six assists i am not quite sure he's doing a great job he's one of the highest average right backs in the bundesliga and that makes him a big candidate rafael guerrero the man is playing left wing back left back left mid left wing striker goalkeeper manager goal post and more he is the man is playing for borussia dortmund going up and down the pitch for a national team of portugal as well guerrero is one of the good shining lights in the dortmund squad then we're leaving the defensive line behind us and turning to the CDM center mids and the camps. And the first one is Josh Kimmich. The center midfielder who first was a right back in his career is now the beating heart and soul of the Bayern Munich and Germany squad. The man is almost making no mistakes in his passing accuracy. He's super composed and also he's going up front to score every single season 
5 to 10 goals. What else do you want? Exactly, a Tots card. There we have the man and Kunku. I am not quite sure what he does with his face to celebrate a goal, but he is doing it and he's killing it. The man is great for RB Leipzig. He can play center mid, left mid, right mid, second striker, and Kunku can play on so many positions that as a coach you can always use him in your starting lineup. Scoring goals, giving assists, and Kunku does it all. Going back to Bayern Munich with Leon Goretzka, and where Bayern doesn't have any center backs to make it into the video, center midfielders enough, the whole midfield will be coming to your screen. Goretzka, he has a headliner card. Don't make a mistake, headliners won't go up as high as a team of the season card that is only upgraded with man of the match and team of the week. So no special card upgrade for the headliner card. But still, Goretzka, this man, it's not a root gullet member anymore. He is just a super saiyan root Gullet. The Kevin De Bruyne of Wolfsburg, the architect of the team and maybe the hidden gem in the squad that has taken Wolfsburg to a Champions League spot. We're talking about Arnold. He is the red version of Kevin De Bruyne. Although Kevin De Bruyne is also a little bit a ginger, well nothing against gingers but hey it's a story. They are creative, they're good on the pitch and Arnold, he is just doing an excellent job creating chances and scoring goals. The man that is performing on a very high level weekly for RB Leipzig but also the national team of Spain. I had to choose between him and Marcel Sabitzer. I and I had to go for Dani Olmo because he scores more goals than Sabitzer. Nothing against Sabitz because also that man is a legend. But hey, you just have to make a decision. A few more midfielders to talk about. What to think about Thomas Müller? If you see my transfer videos, I always say, what is this for a player? Not super quick, not very technical, not very strong, etc. But Thomas Müller, he packs it all together into a fabulous player, a team player, and the top assister of Europe. And that is the guarantee for a team of the season. Where Borussia Mönchengladbach is not doing a fantastic job this season in comparison with the last one, Hoffman is one of the best players this year. Individual performances are waiting higher than a club performance in the table. So that is the reason why Hoffman is the only player this year to make it for Gladbach. Then we go to the wing position, starting off with Serge Gnabry. For Gnabry, it's quite hard to decide because he played 50% of the game's left mid, 50% of the game's right mid. So what position will it be? That is a bigger question if he rather makes it yes or no. It is almost guaranteed that Serge Gnabry is in team of the season, but the spot he is playing on, that is the big question mark. Don't forget to give a thumbs up if you're going for Wamangi Tuka. Danny Aarons, if you're watching this, especially for you because you made this man bigger than life. You did an Akinfino Aki SI moment with Wamangi Tuka. What a man. Five Five star skill moves, 91 rated card, it is not too high, but if you imagine the stats, the height, the physicality, the speed, Wamangi Tuka is a fan favorite forever, and I'm already waiting for his FIFA 22 card, because that would be something extraordinary. If Kingsley Coleman is getting a left midfield card, I'm pretty sure that Serge Gnabry is going to the right wing position. It all depends on the last couple of games and what position they will get. Coleman is playing a good amount of games, keeping Leroy Sonny on the bench in a lot of games as well, and we must say that is just a great job, because Leroy Sonny was the big signing of the summer, and Coleman, when he plays, he He's playing good. When Sonny plays, he's playing good, so no problem. England fans, give a thumbs up for Jaden Sancho. After a horrifying start of the season, Sancho, he free found himself, and I'm lucky he did, because with Jaden Sancho and team of the season, it is much more fun to actually open packs. Jaden Sancho is doing so much better, and I finally can say, this is a player I want to get in real life as well. After a bad start, doing such a good job, up, it says enough, you have the heart to do that. If you're starting off great, it's easy, but after a comeback like that, Jaden Sancho, if he can keep it up until the end of the season, an unexpected touch is coming his way. For me, a guaranteed player is Felipe Kostic. The former player of FC Groningen is now the beating heart and soul of the left mid spot of Eintracht Frankfurt. He already picked up several special cards and the man is just exceptional, going up and down the pitch and one of the best assisting players in the league. That takes us to the strikers. Give a thumbs up for 98 rated Erling Braut Haaland. This man, just like Rocky IV, is like Ivan Drago. He's not a machine, he's even better. He's an android, I think. This man is just insane. You can't keep up with him. His speed, his strength, his goal scoring abilities. It is out of this universe. With Erling Braut Haaland in your squad, trust me, FIFA is feeling like a joke, like cheating, because you only have to run, 
run, run, fake shot, shoot, celebrate, and start all over again. Not playing in the Dutch national team, but destroying the Bundesliga. It is true. It sounds crazy, but Wout Weghorst got not selected by Frank de Boer, one of the worst coaches in the history of football, and in the Premier League, one of the worst coaches in real life, because he never won a game in his Crystal Palace period. So Frank de Boer is not selecting Wout Weghorst, but hey, who cares? With Wolfsburg, he's playing Champions League football next season, and he's now one of their leading players. No time to waste. We have to move with Andre Silva. Hayes. There we have the former striker of AC Milan. He would have been a perfect striker for Wolverhampton Wanderers because he is from Portugal, but now he is scoring the goods for his team Eintracht Frankfurt. Already 24 goals this season in all competitions together. And that says it all, Silva is unstoppable. Although Hoffenheim, just like Borussia München Gladbach, is not doing as well as they did in the several years qualifying for European football, Champions League football, that's not written in the stars this year. But Hoffenheim star Eva uh, Kramaric, he is doing an exceptional good job scoring a lot of goals. Should Robert Lewandowski get a 100 rated card if he breaks the record of Gerd Müller? 40 goals in the Bundesliga. Recording this video with 8 games to go, he only has to score 5 goals to match the 40 goals of Gerd Müller. This man got robbed from a Ballon d'Or. Why didn't they do that? I am not quite sure, but it's missing in Lewandowski's house. He's doing a great job. He keeps it going and for me, the man that is winning the Ballon d'Or is almost a guarantee. Of course, we have the Euros coming up that could be important. For example, if Mbappé is winning that and becomes the top scorer of the tournament, it could go to Kylian Mbappé or Ronaldo or, well, I want to say Messi, but Argentina is not playing at the Euros. But Lewandowski is unstoppable in the Bundesliga, in the Champions League with Poland. So this man is the best Bundesliga player. 100 rated Robert Lewandowski? I would give a thumbs up for that. Would you do that? It would be a very big welcome. I thank you all so much for watching to this video. I hope you enjoyed. Good and talk, my friend from Germany. If you watch this well, subscribe to the channel for more. You can learn English, you can watch videos you will love and understand even without listening to it. Thanks for watching. Have a fantastic day. And as you know for me, keep it cool, keep it real, and ciao for now. Baby.